It smells faintly of gardenias with hints of rose water and intrigue. Okay, baby, this is it. Larry, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to kill him yet. I... Well, I, I thought you were... Safely asleep next door? Yes. It's all becoming clear to me now. A heart attack. No evidence. Very neat. But now I'm the patsy. Jeez. The old guy's one sound sleeper. Hey, maybe we should go to your room and let this old geezer rest in peace, huh? Oh, I think this is exactly where you want to be. Oh, no! She thinks I'm a homosexual! No, no, it's not like that at all. Drop the dumb act, pal. You had this planned all along. But when does the other shoe drop? What's his game? Annette, you don't think I'm a homosexual? Oh, yeah, I do think. You cold-hearted bastard. I guess we'll do it your way. Let's get this stuff out of here. Hey! My clothes! Does he want evidence lying around? I think you'd better leave now, before you help me even more. Ah, uh, hell, I don't even care anymore. Let him come. Take a look. Take a gander. See what you want. Oh, two for a nickel. Mommy, why is that funny man wearing a diaper? Yes? Oh, it's you. Uh-oh. It's good to see you again. Um, well, I was just kind of wondering if there's any way I could get you in bed. If we could, um, talk. I'm not sure what we have to talk about. I haven't seen your old friend around lately. Is everything okay? Yes. Everything's fine. Here it comes. I hope he's having a nice rest. Gosh, does she have a great body or what? Oh, he's resting comfortably. So it's blackmail. So, uh, baby, what's your sign? Octagonal. Huh? As in, stop. You know, um, about the other night, um, well, I just wanted to, um, convince you I'm not gay. <laughs> Personally. Look, you did what you had to do, but I don't want to talk about it, okay? But I, well... <laughs> I wasn't threatening you. I was just wondering what I was supposed to do with this knife. Your attention, please. Don has won the skepticism trophy. What refuses to believe it?
Yes? Oh, you again. Stop bugging me. Yeah, I'm still around. Yeah, I'm still horny. something I believe you want. Oh, that damn insurance policy. Now it's gonna cost me big time. Why, yes. I believe that is mine. Thank you for returning it. Um, I was thinking, you know, um, well, for something as special as this, don't you think, well, you know, a little extra thanks would be in order? <laughs> like sex? Oh. I don't think I have anything you'd want. Oh, I think you have plenty of what I want. Think. Think. How am I going to get rid of this schmuck? I just don't know. What do you say I come inside? Your vault. All right, Larry. I know what you want. And if I give it to you, I don't want to see you again. You understand? No more. That's it. We're through, capiche? She wants me to have sex right now, and she doesn't want me to call her later. Oh, it's a dream come true. You're reading my mind, sweet cakes. Uh, okay. Wait right here. Man, a guy's gotta jump through hoops just to get this chick in bed. Okay, Larry. I don't keep much cash around, but this is worth a lot more than you deserve. Now I am Scray. Skedaddle! Huh? What's this? Half a billion dollars worth of stock? Oh, but I wanted to get laid! It is unlocked, but what would you do inside a hopper full of bowling pins? Good idea. You slyly open the hopper door and spray the entire can of deodorant all over the bowling pins. Your attention, please. Brian has just won the fly fishing portion of the competition by landing a 103 pound groper using nothing but his fly. Thank <laughs> you. 
attention, please. Larry Lapper has just won the bowling portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 300 points. Congratulations, Larry. You really blew the place apart. You know? find Drew's suitcase among all these. It'd be like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> oh. Cybersmith 2000. Yeah, baby! The luggage tag on the side of this suitcase reads, Drew Barringmore. Finally, some good luck. Well, sorry, dude. You gotta stop here. Like, duh. Yeah, like, really? Personal. Oh, dude. Well, <laughs> just so long as you don't let it grow. Hard? That's funny, coming from a guy with an elephant codpiece. Drew, I've got your suitcase. Really? I don't see it. The attendant made me leave it in the changing cabana. Come on. But, Larry, this means I'll have to parade completely across the deck, totally, utterly nude, showing everyone here my tan, fit, naked body. I like that. <laughs> Hey, Larry, get out of the way. Well, here we are, Drew. It's not much, but uh, it is roomy. Okay, Larry, just give me a minute to hop in your shower and rinse off the sunscreen, okay? not the only thing rising. Your attention, please. Al has just been disqualified from further competition because of excessive artificial enhancement. You're not fooling anybody, Al. This ought to get her out of there. Oops. You bastard! That's it! I'm not staying here, and don't you try coming around the pool either! Wait! Hot diggity. That certainly seems to have gone well.
If you think you're man enough, go ahead. Was it good for you? Let's see, some beaver milk, this mold scraped from my shower wall, a pinch of salt, and this lime juice. And voila, Venezuelan beaver cheese. P.U. That stuff stinks. Cybersniff 2000. You set the cute little kitchen timer for exactly 55 minutes. Mix the kumquat into your pot of beaver cheese, throw in a few more things you find lying under the kitchen counter, then place the entire mess in a clean baking dish and slam it in the oven. Well, okay, a baking dish. Hey, that doesn't smell half bad. No! Proudly, you present your concoction for evaluation by the panel of esteemed chefs. Scorecard, please. Oh, thank you, Mr. Laffer. Well, let's see now. to bother tasting it then. Wait, I might want to try it. No, never mind. <laughs> Your attention please. Jennifer has just won the women's Topless accordion playing competition. Friends who wish to congratulate her report to the infirmary. Hmm, this ought to spice it up a little. Present your special enhanced concoction for evaluation by the panel of esteemed chefs. Um, scorecard, please. Um, thank you, Mr. Laffer. Well, what do we have here? Mm. I'll have 
what yes, she's had. Well, delightful. Hey, wait for me. Look at those scores! Ooh. You just won the cook-off competition! Ooh. Oh my! It's locked. Maybe if you knock? Knock, knock. Who's there? Larry who? Uh, should I have a punchline ready? This is... Okay, Captain. Prepare to meet your new master. Man, what happened to you? I'm last week's winner. Or what's left of me. Don't go in there. Are you sure you want to continue, Larry? I made it this far. I'm not quitting now. There's been some terrible error. I was told the winner of my competition was one Larry Laffer. Oh, that's me already. I am so excited about winning the free cruise and spending a week with a beautiful babe like you. Why, there must be some mistake. Uh, no, that was never part of the offer. I, I thought, you know, your cabin, a week of and me and... Oh. But I won the contests, fair and... <clears throat> well, I won the contests. Yes, I know. Well, the cruise part is no problem. I'm sure your room is available next week. But... And I know that the winner is supposed to spend a week with me, but I'm filled with ennui. What do you mean, ennui? Ennui. Oh, it's difficult to explain. Ennui. Noun. Listlessness and dissatisfaction resulting from lack of interest, boredom, French, from the old French ennuyé, to annoy, to bore, from the vulgar Latin. To quote John Barth, the servants relieved their ennui with gambling and gossip about their masters. Who the hell is that? I don't know, but I hear him all the time. But how can you change the rules now? I thought I'd won the game. After seeing you, Larry Laffer, suddenly I expect something more. And besides, I always say a man should give before he gets. So, what do you really want out of life, Captain? Oh, I don't know. The cruise game just isn't what it used to be. Once, everything was tinsel and glamour, jet setters and high rollers, playboys and loose sex, you know? And now... Richard Simmons and Kathy Lee. Besides, this was never my idea of a career. I want to return to my previous occupation. Oh. Super tanker captain. Really? Oh, yes. I'd do anything to put some real mass under me again. I just can't understand why I lost that gig on the Boning Valdez, just because we happen to run aground. Oh, like it's my fault Hazelton would rather spend the night in my cabin instead of on that drafty old bridge. Don't you get tired of spending every week with a new man, learning his fancies, his desires, his sensitivities, his erogenous zones, learning to please him? Perhaps I 
don't understand the question. What exactly are you trying to say? So, uh, what do you say? A little game of drop the anchor? You and me, stent the stern, tug and tanker? God, Larry, you're pathetic. How'd you ever get past the Love Master 2000? Cheat? Was that a no? You know, Cappy, I just might be the boy who makes your dreams come true. Oh, this is doubtful. Extremely doubtful. What would you say if I told you I recently came into a significant position in a major shipping line? I'd say we were both dreaming. Well, dream no more, sweet cakes. Let me whip this out. God, how crude. Yep, crude it is. Crude oil shipping. Well, I'll be damned. Does this say what I think it says? That you're... Nothing less than the proud new majority shareholder of Bone Code Transportation. Only the number one crude oil shipper in all the world. This changes everything. Sure does. But operating the world's largest fleet of super tankers is so demanding. The environmental groups, the regulators, the constant turnover when captains strike major continents. Turnover can be a good thing. Well, I am looking for someone to fill a position directly under me. Mm-hmm. Oh, Larry. <laughs> Although I just love opera, how about we listen to some of my music? the greatest! This has got to be the best night of my life! Put on these handcuffs, Laffer! Celebrate! Celebrate your time! Come on! Let's celebrate! 